Neo YouTubers. It's 16 minutes past nine in the evening on the 20th of February 2023. Just going to tidy my hair and beard off. Look neat. I was on a diet, <laughs> but I've been working on the bike, you know, um, an electric bike. I stressed me out, I needed a drink. So I went and bought some beers, bought it on them to review. In my new format, webcam, easygoing review factor thing. No frills, let's get straight to the point. Honey beer. Oh no. Where's my magnifying glass? I need my magnifying glass. I need to put a dog before I was at home. Is there a little thing? Force out everything. Force out everything. Anyway, Hyber, Hyber, fresh, natural, amber beer. Home bargain, about one pound nineteen or something. Not sure. Honey beer, Hyber. <laughs> Drink Hyber, save bees. Come and visit the Hiver Beer. Come and visit the Hiver Bee and Beer Experience and get hands on with beekeeping. You learn about our work supporting British bees and how we make this award winning fresh and natural amber beer brewed with a touch of honey. It's the crisp, refreshing taste of Hiver. And our substantial approach to brewing great beer that makes it feel like summer all year long. Plant for bees. Hashtag. Ingredients. Water, barley, honey, yeast, hops. London. Hiver beers. London. 4.5%. And that's basically it, really. You know, I'm just because I've been working on a bike, you know. Break cables and, oh, no, no, no. Bzzz. <laughs> Coffee. Yeah, home bargain. A beer, just a lightweight job, you know. Oh, it smells great, it smells old school. It smells old school. Hi there. Don't know if it's called honey beer or amber beer. Don't say what brewery or nothing, does it? Hyver Brewing or something, I don't know. Gorgeous colour, sort of chestnut dark. It's crystal clear, but it's very dark. Chestnut. Almost a rosy glow to that. It smells nutty and old school, real ale. It smells like, um, Hickory or something like that. Like a piney note to it. Oh, the bit when you know when the lights shine through my hand, it's red. You know, if you know when the light shines through your hand and say that, that's red in my hand looking at it. 
so it's almost red colour, rosy colour. All right. What's the smell? Oh. Ashy. What's the smell I'm trying to think of? Oak chips. It's got that oak chip smell to it. I don't know why. Hiver, honey beer, amber, fresh natural amber beer. Probably made by a beekeeper. Up hell they are. Looks good in a glass. It tastes quite bland. But there's a nice honey taste to it. And the after, you know, the back of the palate. Oh, no, it looks great in a glass. It looks absolutely fine. Looks really good, I've got to say. Let you be the judge of that. Really nice. And the honey taste is very delicate. It's a kind of bland flavour in the bit as beers go, but really drinkable. 4.5%. Really easy to drink. I think this is another one off in a home bar. I might really try it when we go out and uh, get them while we can, folks. Looks great in the glass, looks really top quality. Oh, I need that, I really do. Dying for a beer. Mm. Yeah. It settles down. And the wheaty flavour and the malty flavour is very, very delicate. But it's there nonetheless. It's got a lovely... It's so easy. It reminds me of a mild. Or a bitter, but... More of a mild. It reminds me of like the old school beer, like a mild, dead easy to drink, and it'd get you well easy. I wouldn't mind trying a few bottles of this off the trot. I've only got one bottle to try, and I've got a blue dog one to um, review, which is going to be exciting, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just looking at my screen while I'm just um, pushing buttons on a PlayStation to play a football game in AI. Man. Review of the beer. Right, the referees just blew the whistle. Alright, let's go on with this. Um, it's delightful. It's delightful. It's dead easy to drink. It's one of those beers that you can get to anybody, parties, anything like that. And you know no one's going to complain. Lovely honey flavour. Very delicate. And it's quality. Home of bargain. Um, one pound or something. You see that looks lovely. You know? I can't complain about that. So much so. I'm going to give that a whopping big 8 out of 10. If it had some kind of. Mind blown flavour. To hit me between the eyes. It would be a 10 in it. But. Because it's nice, it's quality, and it's too bland, but that's just me talking. I think, you know, it's aimed at a particular kind of person. It's very easy to drink, feeling good as well, feels nice, lovely. Yeah, I'll give that an 8 out of 10, definitely. Nice, nice, nice! Thanks for watching. See you later.